Hello, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. As promised, I tested the myths lesson on my students and in this video you will see the results. The original lesson was designed for grades 5 and 6, but I adapted it a bit to meet the needs of my fourth graders. I think they did great. Not because of me, but because they had amazing Chinese English teachers for years and years before me, who did an outstanding job with them. These teachers are the reasons why these grade four students are so strong. I take off my hat to all the teachers who taught them. Amazing job. Just a quick reminder that this PPT lesson is available for sale in my store on Teachers Pay Teachers. To download it, please follow the link above or click on the link in the description below the video. Enjoy the video and if you like what you see here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, and that's really important for me, please hit the bell icon to turn the notifications on. This way you'll never miss a single upload and help me grow my channel. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Hello everyone! Hello! Teacher Val! How are you today? Raise your hand and tell me. How are you, Miss? I am very happy today because I can see Teacher Val again. Oh, thank you very much. This is for you. Thank you. All right, let, uh, let, let me ask a boy, a gentleman. Do we have gentlemen here? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, how are you today? I'm Mr. Tired. Massman, yes? I'm tired. You're tired. You got up very early. You got up very early, yeah, I'm so sorry. What time did you get up today? 6 6 6.30, yes. Do you know what time I, I got up today? No. I got up at 5.30 in the morning. And I got to school at 6.20, feeling very hungry. All right, all right. Okay, good. So, my helper. Who is my helper? Mr. Martin is my helper. Mr. Martin, can you please tell me how many stars boys and girls have? Boys have five stars. Yes. Girls have eight stars. All right, very good. Boys have, uh, boys have five stars, girls have eight stars. Let's see who wins today. Okay, so last time we had a big review, yes? We reviewed three books. We reviewed Treasures, Just Be Yourself, and uh, Natural Disasters. Is that right? Yes. So today we are going to start book number five. Now, do you have your pencils and notebooks ready? Yes. Very good. Please have them ready because today we are going to take a lot of notes, so you uh, please keep them on your desks. All right, are we ready? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's begin. What do you see here? What do you see here? Yes. Sir. I see a tree house and a, a mm -hmm. what? Frog. And a frog. Okay, we see a tree house and a frog. Do you think it's a tree house? Maybe. Maybe. It's a big tree. Yes, yes. You think it's a treasure house? Maybe. Well, it's a big tree with a door. Do you think it's real? No. Do you think there are trees with doors in them? Maybe. 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 Where do you think this door leads to? What do you think happens when you open it? Yes. Go to... Yes. Maybe we go to Planet X. Or maybe it leads to a magical world. Look at this frog. Do you think he's real? No. 
Not really. He's wearing clothes, he's got a cane. So maybe he came through this door from a magical world. Let's see. Hello, my name is Froffle. Today we will talk about myths. And we have a very confused student here. What is a myth? I don't know. What is a myth? Do you guys know what a myth is? Yes. A myth is a non-real story. A what? A, a story that is not real. That's right. It's a make-believe story, right? You're right. It's a story that is not real. She's right. You're a little point. So, look, everyone please read. A myth is a made-up story that is planned something out of the world. For example, myths extend where thunder comes from or rise snow falls from the sky. That is right. So how do we say myth in Chinese? Shenhua. Please write it down in your notebook. Let's say together. Myth. 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 Yes. And how do we say it in Chinese? Shenhua. That's right. That's right. So look. We have science. Now, do we? Yes. Do we have science? Yes. yes. So we know why things happen in the world. We know why it rains, we know uh, what causes storms and thunder. We understand and we're not afraid, right? But long time ago, people didn't have science. They didn't know why things happened in the world. When they heard thunder, they were afraid because they thought gods were angry with them. Right? Yes, yeah, so they didn't know why it rained. They didn't know why there was, uh, there was lightning or thunder, why we had thunderstorms. So that's why they had stories called myths, which explained why things happened in the world. Were the stories true? No. No, they were not true. They were just a way to explain things people could not understand. Right? Good. Now, how many parts does a myth have? You can guess. Give me a number. How many parts do you think it has? Yes. I think it's four. Four parts. That's a good guess. What do you think? I think it's six. Six parts. That's also a good guess. Yes? I think it's Twelve parts. That's a lot of parts. Look, how many parts does it have? Three. three. Well, yeah, we are going to start with three. Next class, when we read the myth, there will be more. But uh, there are three main parts in the myth. Let's say together. Characters. Characters. Problem. Problem. Life lesson. Life lesson. How do we say characters in Chinese? Together. That is correct. So let's take a look at the characters in the myth. So, some characters in the myths are gods. Let's write this word down. Together. God. 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 Yes. What kind of God is this? What is his name? Jose. In English, it's Zeus. Zeus. Together, Zeus. Zeus. Yes. He was the king of the Greek god. Yeah, please read. Who lived on Mount Olympus. And he was the god of the sky and thunder. He was the most Lehi the God. <coughs> all right, all right. Look, some characters in myths are. You can read it in Chinese. In English, is goddesses. Let's say together, goddess. 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 
Goddess. Yes. So look, this is Hera. Hera is Zeus's wife. Yeah? Can you read about Hera, please? She was the queen of the Greek gods. She was the goddess of marriage. Do you know the word marriage? How do you? Yes. So she was the goddess of marriage. You understand? That's why she has a lamb in her hands. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, next one. Look. Some characters in myths are magical, magical creatures. How do we say magical creatures in Chinese? Boy. Magical creatures. All right. Let's say it together. Magical creatures. Magical creatures. And today we're going to learn about some of the magical creatures. All right. Magical creature number one. What is it? Unicorn. Unicorn. Very good. Together. Unicorn. 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 Very good. How do we say unicorn in Chinese? Now, boys, you're going to read about unicorns. Boys, you're going to go in one, two, three, go. Uh, this is a unicorn. A unicorn is a beautiful white horse with a bottle of horn on his head. You see? This is a horn. Right? H-O-R-N. He has, uh, unicorns have one long horn on their hands. Okay, magical creature number two. Griffin! Griffin! Together, Griffin! 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 Remember Gryffindor in Harry Potter? Yeah. Gryffindor. So what are Griffins? Look. Griffins have the head, wings, uh, front legs, and claws of an eagle. And also they have the body and back legs of a lion. What do they guard? They guard gold and treasure. Yes, thank you, Mr. Martin. Martin says the full sentence. That is good. Everybody please read. They, they guard gold and treasures. Yes, they guard gold and treasures. Griffins. Let's say it one more time. Griffin. Griffin. Did you write down the word? Yes. Good. Magical creature. All right. What is this? Dragon. Dragon. You know dragon. Together, dragon. 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 Now, girls, you are going to read about dragons. Girls, you're going to start in one, two, three, go. This is a dragon. A dragon is an animal which has the body of the lizard. Some dragons have fat wings and some can breathe fire. Yes, do you understand? Breathe fire? Yeah. Right. Okay. And also, look, dragons have scales like a fish. And yeah, they do have the body of a lizard. Now, look, in China, dragons are nice and kind. Yes? Yes. They help people, they show the way to water for example, and many dragons in China do not have wings. Yes. But in other countries, dragons are evil. They're bad. Yeah? yeah? They breathe fire, they have wings, and sometimes they eat people. Yes. yes. All right, so now, next one. Magical creature. What is this? Centaur. Let's say it together. Centaur. 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 That's right. This is a centaur. How do we say centaur in Chinese? 
Yes. Also possible, yes. That's right. Thank you. So can you read about centaurs, please? This is a centaur. Centaurs are part of horse, part of man. That's right. That's right. Good. Okay. Next magical creature. Number five. Ready? Here we go. What is this? Mermaid. Mermaid. Yes, let's write it down. Together, mermaid. 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 How do we say mermaid in Chinese? Mermaid. Or beautiful fish. <coughs> beautiful fish. <coughs> yes. All right, now let's read about mermaids. We're going to read it this way. Teacher Bell starts. When Teacher Bell stops, you go on. Okay? This is a mermaid. Mermaids are half women, half fish. They have beautiful long hair, but they don't have legs. They have a big fish tail with scales. Yeah, just like dragons, yeah? Scales. Okay, good. And finally, the last magical creature for today is. Phoenix. Yeah? All right, it's here. Together, Phoenix. 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 How do we say Phoenix in Chinese? That's right, that's right. So, um, what's a Phoenix? What's a Phoenix? Yes. Um, I don't want a Harry Potter. Yes. Who has a phoenix in Harry Potter books? Dumbledore. Professor Dumbledore has a phoenix, yes? It's a special bird which burns itself and then comes back to life. And it happens every 500 years. It burns itself and is born again from the ashes. Very good. Okay. So these are the characters. Let's go through them one more time. God. God. Goddess. Goddess. Magical creature. Magical creature. Unicorn. Unicorn. Griffin. Griffin. Dragon. Dragon. Centaur. Centaur. Mermaid. Mermaid. Phoenix. Phoenix. Very good. You are amazing today. Good. Okay, so part number two in the myth is a problem. And as I said, each myth explains something that happens in nature by using gods, magical creatures, or humans. Yeah? Next class, we're going to read a myth written by Teacher Val where you are going to actually see the problem, right? Each myth explains something about the world. Yeah? So, for example, this boy does not understand what thunder is. Maybe he needs a myth to explain it. All right. And finally, part number three. What is it? Live lesson. Live lesson. Yes? Can you read the first sentence for me, please? Each myth teaches us an important that's right. So each, this is, I think, I think, it's the most important part of a myth. Because it helps us understand what is right and what is wrong. So I'm going to show you a short video, okay? And after you watch it, please tell me what is the life lesson here, okay? Ready? Let's watch it. Okay, so what is the life lesson here? <laughs> what do you think? Raise your hand. Yes. We need to help people. That's right. Thank you. We need to help people. Anything, any other ideas? Yeah, raise your hand. Yeah, raise your hand. Yes. Um, we help people not because we 
you can have more money because because if you help others, you can feel love, and you, if someone is um, getting better, and get, you you feel better. You feel better. That's right. That's right. That is a very good answer. That is a wonderful answer. Yes. Any other ideas? Yes. I think we should uh, help people if they need more meat and uh, we, and, we can mm -hmm. and what do we get in return? What do we get? Maybe they uh, help you again. Yes, that's right. That is good. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes, you're all right. Is the man in the video rich or poor? poor? He's very poor. But he still helps other people as much as he can. What does he get in return? Does he get any money? No. no. Do you think he's going to be famous? No. No. Do you think he's going to be on TV? No. no. But what does he get in return? He gets love. love, he gets love, he gets friends, he gets feelings, he gets emotions, he gets something money can never buy. You can have a lot of money, but you can be lonely. But if you have a lot of friends, if you have a family, if you have people who love you, you are the richest person in the world. That's why the lesson we we'll learn here is always give. And don't expect anything in return. Just give. Yeah? Give what you have, even then, even though it's very little, because it will come back to you. It will always come back to you. Maybe somebody will hug you. Maybe somebody will give you a pencil. Or maybe somebody will give you right it's all about love so next week we're gonna read a myth and there will be a life lesson there as well okay very nice so now let's practice we are going to skip the game because there is not much time but we are going to do this exercise what am I I will need one boy and one girl from uh, each team you're going to listen to teacher Val describing one of the creatures. If you say the letter, you need to guess which one it is. If you guess a letter, if you say the letter, you get one point. But if you say the animal, if you say the creature's name, you get two points. You understand? Huh? Okay, who wants to try? Oh, one boy and one girl. Oh, one boy and one girl. All right, Mr. Martin and yes, you please. Listen to the first one. So you just need to be, you can look in your notebooks, it's okay. Let's listen. I am half horse, half man. I have four legs and I can run fast. So which one? What am I? Center. Centaur, not center, but centaur. Yes, she was a little bit faster, sorry. So together, centaur. 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 Girls get two points. All right, next one. No one boy, one girl. Okay, let's see. One, stand up. And two, stand up. Thank you very much. Let's listen to number two. I have the body of a lizard and scales like a fish. I can fly and breathe fire. What did you say? What am I? Dragon. She was a little bit faster. I'm sorry. Together. Dragon. 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 Okay, boys, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I can do it. Come on, come on. <laughs> yes, he can do it. Girls, who wants to try? Huh? Oh. Maybe you can try. Do you want to try? All right, then you try, please. Please stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. It's okay, let's try. All right, it's okay. So here we go. I have the head, wings, front legs, and claws of an eagle, and the body and back legs of a lion. What am I? Griffin. 
Griffin. Yes, he was a little bit faster. Together, Griffin. 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 All right, very good, very good. Okay, who's next? One girl and one boy. <laughs> Listen to the next one, number four. Is it number four? Yeah, it is number four. All right, here we go. I am half woman, half fish. I have long, beautiful hair. A. But I don't have legs. Yes. She said what A. Yes, and what is A? Mermaid. You said A, you didn't say the word. You still get one point. Mermaid. 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 That's right, that's right. And yes, one and two. Please, please try. All right, here we go. Do you want five or six? Choose five or six. Five or six. Five. Okay, let's listen to number five. I am a bird that burns itself and then is born again. What, is what it? am I? If you say the words, you still you still have one. That's okay. That's okay. All right. D. That D. What is D? Phoenix. Yeah. D is Phoenix. Thank you very much. We get a point together. Phoenix. 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 And what is this one? Unicorn. Unicorn. Correct. That is the unicorn. Okay. Good. We're not going to listen because it's obvious. All right, next one. Correct the sentences. Let's see who can do it. Who can do it? Well, this one, well, let's do this together. Dragons have the body of a bird. Raise your hand, yes. Dragons have the body of a lizard. Excellent. Boys get a point. It was faster. Next one. Mermaids are half woman, half man. Uh, no. Mermaids are half woman, half fish. That's right. They're beautiful fish. That's right. Thank you very much. Next one. Centaurs are part goat, part man. Yes. Centaurs are part, part horse, part man. Excellent. Thank you very much. Well done. Yes. That is correct. Four. Unicorns have two long horns on their heads. Unicorns have one long horn on their heads. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, and the last one. Griffins have the body and back legs of a tiger. Griffins have the body and back legs. And back legs of a lion. Very good. That's right. That's right. Well done. Okay, and now this is the group work, but uh, I want you to work in pairs, two people together, okay? Two people together, can you do that? Now listen to me, in pairs, you need to write down six words, one, two, three, four, five, six. The first person who writes them all in a group gets three points. Second person gets two points, the army. Third person gets one point, okay? For example, an ancient story that explains something about the world is? The myth, the man. Yes, do it, do it, six words. You can talk, you can talk. And then raise your hand. Beaming. She is right. She is right. She's the first one. She got it right. So girls get three points. Okay, boys, if you're faster, you'll get two. Okay, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. All right. Yes, correct. Boys get two points. Who's gonna get one? Who's gonna get one? Yes, that is correct. All right, girls get the last point. There we go. So now let's check. An ancient story that explains something about the world is a myth. myth. Birds have bees on their wings. Feathers. Feathers. Half woman, half fish. Feathers. 
Some dragons can breathe it. Fire. Unicorns have it on their heads. Four. Orange. Centaurs have four of them. Yes. Legs. Check this out. Who made no mistakes? Raise your hands. No mistakes. All right. Wonderful. Who made one mistake? Good. Who made two mistakes? Who made three mistakes? Who made four mistakes? Nobody. That's very good. Very good. Okay, good. And now, now we have five minutes left and we're going to do something fun. Now, in your notebooks, you're going to draw a magical creature. But wait, wait, wait. Not the one we've learned. No. You'll have to invent a magical creature. Do you know what invent means? So put two animals together. For example, take a crocodile and take a dog. Put them together and you have a crocodile. <laughs> For example, look, 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 look. This is my magical creature, a crocodile. Look, it is half crocodile and half frog. It has the body of the crocodile and the hands and the teeth of, uh, no, sorry, it has the body of a crocodile, yes, the head of a frog and the teeth of a crocodile. It also has four eyes. What does it, what does it eat for breakfast? <laughs> magical creature. So you now draw your creature in your notebook and write about it. Also, you, if you like, you can make it a poster and show it to me next time, next week. Best ones will go over there. I'll take a picture, give you stickers, all right? But now you can practice. For example, look, you can take a dinosaur and a cat. And you will have dino cats. <laughs> so yeah, you can be as creative as you want. What is it? Valmate, half val, half mermaid, valmate. <laughs> That's a good one, I like that, valmate. Not mermaid, but valmate. Okay, while you're drawing, let me see. Girls win today. Girls get another star. My helper, please write it down. Uh, girls have nine stars, boys have five. 